Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is maximum length substring with two occurrences. So in this question, we are given a string S and we have to return the maximum length of a substring such that it contains at most two occurrences of each character. So we're given this string. So here, as you can see, there are three different types of characters, A, B, and C. And we have to find the maximum length of a substring, right? So we keep track of variable max length. And another keyword is that you have to count the number of occurrences of each character, right? So I think you will need a map or an array to store the count of every character. So max length is initially zero. And also I keep track of a hash map where the key is going to be the character and the value is going to be the count of that character. And now we need to find substrings, right? So one approach which comes to your mind is that you can use two pointers left and right and you find the substring length between those two limits. So I start with left and right pointer. Left is in the beginning and right is also in the beginning. Now we keep moving the right pointer forward. So first we keep track of the right pointer. We check if B is occurring in the map. No. So add its frequency. And now calculate the length between left and right. Max length is equal to. So the formula of max length is right minus left plus one, right? So right is at zero and left is at zero, zero minus zero plus one. So max length is now one. But that is not the answer obviously because we haven't found the max length until now because we haven't accessed A and C until now. At most two occurrences, right? At most two occurrences in the sense it means so the frequency of these three values can be either zero, one or two. And now we move the right pointer forward. Now we count this character C and the max length is equal to right minus left plus one which is equal to two. So let me also write the index positions and now move the right pointer again. Now right is at B. So this count will be incremented to two. Now count the distance again. Distance again is three. So max length is three. Now move the right pointer again. The value of B is equal to three. But here if you see it is asking for at most two occurrences of each character, right? But here the character B is having count three. So this condition is failing. So we have to reevaluate by moving the left pointer. So we can access the value at left which is b so decrement its count by one so b has now value two and we update that value into the map by accessing the character at left and updating its value by subtracting it by one since we subtracted there might be a case that the value becomes zero if that value becomes zero we have to remove this value from the map but here it is two now so that condition is not met yet and now we increment the left pointer because we subtracted that value left is now here now we check again if the value at right is equal to 2. We keep on doing until this value is within this range 0, 1 and 2. But now it is within this range 0, 1 and 2. So we move the right pointer now. Now the right pointer is B again. So we add plus 1 and B's value is now 3 again. Now again this condition is failing. So we have to revaluate this condition by adding the value at left. The value at left is C. So subtract this by 1. And now the value of C is equal to 0. Since the value of C is equal to 0, it means it is not present inside our value. So we have to reevaluate this. C's value is 0. It means we haven't encountered that yet. So we remove this value from the map and move the left pointer again. Now we check if the value at right is within this range or not. No, it's not. So we again subtract the value at left. Value at left is equal to B. So we two minus 1 and the B's value is 2 now. Now move the left pointer again. Now check if the value at uh, right is within this range. 0, 1, 2. Yes, it is within that range. So we can increment right now. Now add the value at right and count its frequency to 1. Now get the range. The range max range is equal to 3. So it will remain 3. Now move the pointer right again. It is pointing to B and B's value changes to 3. And now this condition is violating again. So, so we have to decrement the value at left. Value at left is B. So B becomes 2 and move left forward. Now check again if value at right is within this range. Yes, it is, it is within the range. So move the right pointer. Right pointer is now right pointer is now at A. Now add that value into the map. A is not present. So set its frequency to 1. And now find the range. Right is equal to 7. Right is equal to 7. And left is equal to 4. So this value is 4. Check if 4 is greater or 3 is greater. 4 is greater. So update max value to 4. Now move the right pointer again. Now right is at 8, which is more than this. So we end the iteration. And whatever is present inside the variable max length will be returned as the output. So 4 is the output for this question. Now let's take a look at the code. So here I'm creating a map, character as key and integer as value, keeping track of the max variable. And this is the left pointer and using a for loop as a right pointer. We're adding the 
value at right into the map and setting its count whenever you get that value. And once if the value at right is greater than 2, we have to reset the left pointer. So get the value at the left pointer and subtract that value by minus 1 and then add that value into the map. And once if left value is equal to 0, we have to remove that character from the map because next time if we don't place this check, the value at left can go to negative. You can go to negative 1, negative 2. The minimum possible value for a character should be 0, right? Because if it's not occurring. And once it is 0, we remove that character from the map. And we move the left pointer and here it is a while loop. So until this condition is within the range 0, 1 and 2, we keep on doing. And if this condition is skipped, we calculate the max value by updating it by calculating the current uh, range right minus left plus 1 by comparing it with the current max value. And finally outside this for loop, once the right pointer meets the end, we return whatever is present inside the variable max value. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the length of the stringers. The space complexity is also O of n where n is the length of the stringers because we are using a hash map to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.